Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how the ruler trick works. So I have a regular ruler here laying off the edge of my table. You can see it's barely balancing here. If I drop this bouncy ball on it, you can see it easily falls off. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to set a piece of paper over it. I can even throw it pretty hard. <laughs> It literally doesn't go anywhere, but just take the paper off, it's gone. So how is it doing this? Well first let's check if it's just the weight of the paper on it, balancing it. So let's crumble up the paper, put it on the back, let's try the same thing. Whoa, <laughs> nope. <laughs> So it's definitely not the weight of the paper. In fact, I can probably even put a pretty significant weight on it. Even a roll of duct tape couldn't hold it down. So if it's not the weight of the paper, how does setting a piece of paper on it keep the ruler on the table? Well, we can get a little bit of a hint when I look at this stack of papers here. I have about five papers here and some duct tape. Let's try to pick up the top paper just like this. I can't. It literally just ripped. <laughs> Let's try just one on the table. More duct tape. I literally can't pick it up. If I do it slow, I can. To give us another hint, let's try it on this perforated strainer here. This is just some stainless steel that has a bunch of little holes through it. Let's try to pick up the piece of paper now. Easy. Now let's do our same experiment again. So without the paper, flies right off. Then with the paper, still flies off. So in this case, it still flew off with the paper on it, but it was a little bit slower because as the paper was coming up, it has some air resistance to it, and so it slows it down. But it still came off the table. So we know that when you try to remove the paper fast from the table, it wants to stick to it. And we know also that if you put some perforations under it, some little holes that lit in the air under it, it also comes up off the table just fine. So this can help us understand that it's the air pressure that's playing a role in this. So when you lay a piece of paper like this on the table, there's barely any air trapped underneath it. But when you try to pick it up from the center like this, you're increasing the volume of the air underneath. You're trying to pick it up. But because there's no good air channels around the edges, you can't suck in any air to increase that volume. And so what it does is it lowers the pressure. You're increasing the volume without increasing the air inside there, so the pressure goes down. So that means that the pressure is lower underneath the paper, and so the atmospheric pressure pushes down on it and holds it in place. So basically what you're doing is creating a paper suction cup. But because it's paper, it doesn't hold very long. And if you just do it slowly, you can pick it up just fine because it gives it enough time for the air to flow in. But if you do it fast, then there's not enough time for the air to flow in, so it can't get in there fast enough to increase the pressure, so the outside pressure holds it in place. You can get this to work really well if you just take a silicone mat and get a handle in the center, and then try to pick it up. Just stuck there. You can see it takes a considerable amount of force, so it can even almost lift up the table with it. The reason I can't lift this up is because the air pressure is holding it down. As soon as I try to increase the pressure in there, the pressure all around under the mat becomes less than atmospheric pressure, and so that just holds it in place. So how do we test this for sure? Well, it seems like all of my experiments end up this way, but we need to try it in the vacuum chamber. So I just have a block here, and then I just have a smaller ruler that I'm going to put on the edge here, then put a piece of paper over it like this. Then I have a steel bearing that I'm going to be dropping with a magnet. So I'm going to try it once in atmospheric pressure and then once at vacuum and see if there's any difference. Okay, first we'll do it in air. Three, two, one. Stays up just fine. Now we'll suck out the air and do it in vacuum. Okay, now we're at a pretty good vacuum in there. W minus one atmospheres. Let's see what happens now. Three, two, one. Easily pops off of there. <laughs> Look at that. 
So with no atmosphere in there to hold the paper down, the ruler just pops right off. So this is a pretty definitive test to show that it is atmospheric pressure that's holding the paper on there. And before we end, I'd like to thank Endel for sponsoring this video. If you ever have a hard time concentrating or falling asleep, or you need help relaxing, you should try Endel. Endel is an environment-based nonprofit app that takes everything we know about sound and combines it with cutting-edge technology. The result is real-time, personalized soundscapes designed to help you relax, focus, and sleep. Endel is informed by science, created by science, and backed by science. This app is really cool. It uses circadian rhythms. Your biological clock is in tune with nature's organic rhythms and cycles, and Endel complements these to improve how you feel night and day. It's really cool as well because it uses AI to adapt in real-time changes to weather in your area and even your heart rate changes. So this one's called Move. As you start moving around, it's gonna change the sound that it's giving off. So right now I'm at rest, stationary. Let's see if I run in place. So now it changed to midday energy, light jog. So it's pretty cool how it changes depending on what you're doing. So the specific sounds that it's giving off is meant to help you do the specific things that you've clicked on. For example, this one is meant to help you actually fall asleep and stay asleep. And there's a lot of different scenarios besides these. We have deep work, chill, self-care, meditate, chores, yoga, workout, read. So if you want to try Endel today, click the link in my description. The first 100 people to click the link will get a free week of audio experiences. And thanks again to Endel for sponsoring this video. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And you can also hit the bell so that you are notified when I release my latest videos. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.